Morning, uh, Prime Minister. Um, just you mentioned uh, getting more information uh, on the numbers and predictions soon. What, what does soon mean, and what information specifically are you uh, referring to? I think, first of all, we can highlight that there has been tremendous transparency on the raw data, on the numbers, uh, on the numbers of cases, on where they are, uh, and we're of course adding to and collaborating closely with the provinces on making sure that those numbers get out there. The question of analysis of those numbers is the next, the next question. People want to know what the model is, how long they're likely to be in this situation, uh, when uh, kids can see their friends again, when uh, we're going to be through this phase and get back to work. Uh, those depend, those analyses depend directly on Canadians' behaviours. They depend on whether or not people follow the rules around social distancing, around staying two metres apart, around isolation isolation, about not going out uh, if for groceries more than uh, once a week if you can. These kinds of things will have a direct impact on which of the various models uh, that are out there will be the one we take. And we're going to continue to work on those analyses. We're going to continue to crunch the data and numbers. And we're going to continue to be open with Canadians about those expectations. Just as a follow-up. You yourself a couple days ago described some of the scenarios as fairly dire. Why, why is it that you can't release the projections that you have now, uh, the range of scenarios that you've talked about from, from you know things working to things being fairly dire? I think people can imagine uh, a range of scenarios that shows uh, uh, everything from everyone gets suddenly better within the next uh, few weeks to uh, this situation just keeps getting worse and we face a situation like uh, like uh, some other countries in the most dire situations have. Uh, there is a range out there and just highlighting that range is not as uh, useful or important as being able to get clearer numbers and clearer analysis of what we are likely to face. But everything that we are going to face will be directly linked to how people behave today. And that is why it is so important that people stay home, that they continue with the social distancing, continue keeping two meters apart, continue uh, to look to minimize their movements as much as possible so that we can get through this in the best shape possible.